Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Gourmet Grind. We have a very special episode for you guys tonight. Let's get some ingredients. So we have a very special dish for you tonight. Now it's quarantine times and you're locked in in your house with your loved ones, your spouses, your kids, and you can't go out. Restaurants, bars, everything is closed. How are you gonna create that special experience going out? What we're gonna do is we're gonna create that special experience for you. We're gonna help you understand how to make this dish and how to give your family and your loved ones the unforgettable and special night of home cooking. So our main dish comprises of two main ingredients and those two ingredients are first of all, our salmon here. And secondly, our lovely polenta. Now, to cook this dish as perfectly as we can, I'm gonna need the hands of, uh, that are more capable than these two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the help of a very special friend who's gonna help us create this dish. Hi right, guys, so the first thing we need to do is set this off to the side. The salmon can sit out for a little bit to get to room temperature. Next, we have our polenta. This is the longest part of the dish. It takes about 35 minutes. It does take some time, but it's definitely well worth it. So we have a pot on the back burner over there getting ready to boil, and we're gonna put this in very slowly. All right, guys, so for the polenta, I'm using a polenta bramata. Uh, it's Italian. So for this uh, recipe, we want a kind of softish consistency for our polenta. So we have a pot here on the boil with water and we're gonna just add some salt. This gives a nice flavor to everything. And we're gonna stir in the salt real quick. And for the polenta, we're gonna be adding it very bit by bit. <clears throat> and we're gonna continuously stir everything. So we're gonna stir the water first and we're just gonna let it seep in little bit by bit. It's already starting to get thicker, but the important step is, is not to stop stirring for the first five minutes. For the amount of water that I'm using is, I have 250 grams of polenta and I'm using one liter of uh, water. If you're using 500 grams, you're gonna use two, two liters of water. So now we're just gonna keep adding the rest of the polenta in. As you can already see, it's already getting very thick immediately. It's gonna start bubbling, so you have to be careful. We're gonna turn the heat down to a low heat and just add in the rest of the polenta. Stirring it continuously in the first five minutes really ensures that there's no lumps in the polenta. And it's already getting super nice and thick. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be stirring this occasionally every, I'd say, five minutes for the next 25 to 35 minutes until the, we get to the consistency that we want. Every day, we here at Gourmet Grind have to deal with weak whisks, ones which don't mix our dishes as well as their stronger counterparts could. If you like us, our content, and what we do, consider liking, commenting, and subscribing so that sooner rather than later, our dishes won't have to go under whist any longer. So I have my polenta here. It's very well stirred. Uh, I've been stirring it for the last five minutes. Next, what we wanna do is I have this on the lowest heat possible and I'm just gonna cover this. And every about five, six minutes, I'm gonna come back and keep stirring this. By the end, it should only take about 25, 30 minutes, it should be a nice consistency and have a great taste. So as you can see here, polenta is nice and thick, and but it's not too thick. So now I have about 
three tablespoons of butter and we're gonna just add in the butter this will give it a nice creamy texture and we're gonna add in some freshly grated parmesan cheese and we're just gonna mix this in until everything's melted nicely and you want to add you want to add all the butter and parmesan in right at the last minute and right before you serve you always want to give it a little taste so you can adjust for seasoning that's a 10. so now the polenta is kind of cooling down a little bit this salmon only takes about five six minutes to make really so i'm going to unwrap the salmon you want to have a really nice fresh salmon uh, we got this from our local fishmonger and this is the easiest part so get your salmon with the skin on and this salmon is big enough to feed one person we could even trim it down a little bit we're going to cut off probably about 25 percent and we can use this for some time after ideally you want about 250 grams for a serving for one person. So we have our salmon and what we're gonna do is we're gonna curl this up just a little bit so we can score it. The scoring will help it cook a little bit faster and we're just gonna cut through the skin but not all the way through the skin. So for the seasoning, we're just gonna use some salt and pepper and we're gonna hit the skin with the salt and the pepper. And then we're gonna turn it over in the pan and we're gonna season the other side while it is in the pan. Okay, so now we're in the last finishing steps. So we're just gonna cook our salmon real quick. We're gonna get our heat to a high heat and we're just gonna use some olive oil and then we're gonna finish it off and baste it in some butter. So this is an induction burner, so this heats up very, very quickly. We're gonna pour in about two tablespoons of olive oil. That's already getting nice and hot. And we're gonna go in with our salmon. Always lay your salmon away from you so the oil doesn't splatter. And we're gonna apply, we have a spatula right here, we're gonna apply a little bit of pressure to the top. And the main important thing is, is you don't want to touch it at all. So as it's going, it's, you're going to tell that this, the side of the salmon is going to start to turn white. <clears throat> and that's your little temperature gauge. And once it goes to about halfway, that's when we want to flip. So the edge of this salmon is getting nice and white. And we're going to let it cook for a little longer. Then, okay, so I guess about ready to flip so we're just gonna turn it over so look at that it's a super nice golden brown crunchy texture and this is where we're gonna add in our butter so we're gonna add our butter in and we're gonna let that melt and then we're gonna start basting it over When you're basting, this helps cook the top layer and all the, all the sides around here, and it helps everything cook evenly. You, and you want this nice foam and butter, so it's nice and hot. Okay, that's about it for the salmon. We're gonna take this off the stove and we're gonna put it off the side and we're gonna start plating. So now we have our polenta here ready to plate. And the consistency you want for this is a nice creamy texture. And as you can see, this is almost sponge-like, but not to the full extent. And you can leave this in the fridge and let it sit and it's gonna get harder. And you can serve it the next day and it tastes amazing cold as well. But for now, we want this creamy texture for our plate. So now we have our final plating process. We have our polenta right here. We're just gonna take a basic spoon and just place this right here a little bit off center. 
enough for a portion. And imagine this as like a pillow for our salmon. And we want a decent amount. And we're just gonna take our spoon. We're gonna wash it off real quick. So we have a nice fresh surface. And we're just gonna start panning this out. And we're just gonna keep moving this outward as we go along. And this creates a nice base for our salmon. And we're just gonna just adjust a little bit of the edges so everything's nice and round. There we go. I'm gonna just grab a paper towel. I'm just wiping down any little imperfection that may be left on the plate. And next, we're gonna take our rocket leaves and we're gonna just lay these along the edge of the salmon. You kinda wanna just build a little bit of height to the dish. So just stack everything on top of each other. And right before the salmon, we're gonna take our balsamic glaze this is available in most grocery stores. If not, we're gonna link this in the description below so you can find it. And we're gonna do the same thing we did for our butternut squash recipe. And we're gonna make a couple circles lengthwise. Just like that, super simple and elegant. Finally, we're gonna go in with our salmon. And just lay this right across like that. Just take our paper towel and just just little imperfections that we've made. Just finish it off with a little bit of fresh salt and some fresh cracked pepper. And there you have it. Super elegant and easy dish. It looks like a nine bucks. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed all of that. And we're gonna get to eating because it's been a long day of shooting. And this is the special moment that you can really create with your family, with your loved ones at home. So this one's for everybody at home. This is what you can do with the time you have. Cheers. This is for you guys. <laughs>